Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> and we are live. And if nobody compliments my new haircut, I will be so upset. Okay, I'm just kidding. All right. Anyway, so thank you for joining the Yada Coin Sunday live stream that we've been doing for a little bit now. I want to talk about some exciting stuff that we are getting to that I feel like is long overdue and we've been wanting to get to it for a long time. <clears throat> it's the uh, the missing piece, I believe, in the, uh, the Yada Coin puzzle, but uh, ironically it's what has been part of the plan all along. So if you remember watching our video on the main website, you'll see that I basically said, hey, it's really hard to get a site started and get a user base uh, under that site. And, you know, it's hard to... <laughs> Sorry, Ross, look. Thank you for uh, the, the haircut compliment. I appreciate that. Um, it's, been, it's hard to get your website off the ground with a user base. And really, if you think about it, it's hard to promote anything on the internet. It's really hard to get uh, the word out on the web. It still takes a lot of money and it still takes a lot of ins with uh, certain people. It's pretty tough to do a grassroots effort on the web, um, <clears throat> especially with the fact that a lot of platform rules are geared um, towards, I would say, suppressing a lot of um, honest efforts, uh, conflating the honest efforts with the scam efforts. Uh, you know, they try to cover up uh, the, the scammers and whatnot, and they just say, oh, all of crypto, um, you know, promotions and advertisements cannot be uh, allowed because they're all scams or something like that. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, so, you know, that's made it uh, very difficult for us to uh, get approved for the App Store, uh, for Apple, even for uh, Android. It's made promotion difficult uh, on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, you know, I've tried doing advertising just to get the word out and raise brand awareness, but anytime you promote a crypto project, no matter how honest your intentions are, <clears throat> it's difficult because they just conflate you with uh, these other uh, projects and these other efforts that, you know, don't have people's best intention or best interest in mind. And um, let's look here. So we came up with a better way to promote your project. This is what Yadacoin is all about. This is what Yadacoin has been all about from the very beginning. Hold on one second. We'll, we, we're fixing our, um, our camera. So I'm like freaking out going all over the place. I'm getting brighter and... Okay, do we need to close something? Okay, anyway. Okay. I'm just trying not to give people motion sickness with it like going back and forth. All right, so from the very beginning, what we wanted to do is allow people to get a following on their site, get a user base. We want, I feel like I'm on QVC right now. And I am in love with this project. It is my favorite. No, okay, now for real though, this is awesome. This is going to be, I think, the, the, the icing on the cake. This is like the feature that will get us, you know, to that next stage, the next generation, if you will, of Yadacoin. This is the next, this is the final feature that will, I think, give us a lot of growth opportunity. And that feature is smart contracts. And when I say smart contracts, I don't mean you get to just develop in your own language like Solidity or something like that. 
it's going to be much easier than that. And basically, it's only focused on promotion. It's only focused on promotion. So what do I mean by promotion? So you promote your own website, you promote an event, you promote your brand, you promote really anything. You could be a club promoter. And we have a smart contract structure set up to where when you create a promotion, you send money to that promotion. So that promotion is your smart contract. Okay, so then the promotion is funded at that point. You send Yada coins to that promotion. And then what happens is every miner that is creating a block will analyze all of the contracts that are currently available and they will uh, try to see if there is a relationship that qualifies as part of one of those contract conditions. So if you create a promotion and you say, I have 10,000 Yada coins in this promotion. And if you uh, refer a user to my platform, that smart contract will detect that referral, that new relationship. It will detect the new relationship on the blockchain and it will pay out automatically to the promoter. So this is a way for you to be a promoter of virtually anything and you will be able to get paid without having to set up uh, a payment gateway, your own, you know, uh, yeah, you'd actually need like a couple payment gateways. You'd have to set up your own bank account to get paid by that payment gateway. And you'd also be paying the middleman in between, you know, to facilitate all of that, uh, money transfer in us dollars. So when you're promoting your own, uh, See, uh, hold on, we have some uh, comments here. I like the excitement. Yeah, very good ecosystem. Awesome. Member, get member. Yep, exactly. Uh, yeah, so this could be plugged into any platform. You know, my, uh, my goal is to make this very modular so you could really drop this in anywhere. I'm thinking, you know, you could have a widget or something like that. It's really just like, you have some inputs that are um, like the, the creator of the contract and then uh, the person who is joining the platform. And then so you have the platform, the promoter and the new user. And the new user is going to be tied to the promoter. The promoter is essentially inviting their fan base, right? Their followers. So when the promoter has a relationship with uh, their friend, then they invite them. The smart contract can see that relationship between the promoter and their user. And so that's how we'll know that that promoter should be paid for that relationship. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, very good ecosystem, yes, thank you. Uh, I'm a PM of growth tech in my company and we're struggling to make a fast development of a uh, uh, MGM system. When will this release? <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to get this out this week, honestly. I don't, I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but I don't think it'll be a huge, huge implementation. It's, um, the blockchain's really already there almost, you know? It's like, uh, it's been really stable lately for like months now, really. Um, and I just really think that it's uh, ready for this next feature. It's really ready to support something. Can we get a couple ice packs over here, uh, please? It's really ready to support something um, uh, big like this. It's really ready to scale up so that we can test, you know, what this, what this 
node is really capable of in terms of um, of bringing on a lot of users. Thank you. Mm. One second. So again, okay, cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's great. Yeah, go ahead and ping me, and uh, I'd love to talk with you about it just to make sure that I'm not like missing any use cases or anything like that. Um, I think that also one thing I was thinking about earlier is that uh, you know when uh, social media influencers uh, give out like their their code. I mean, think about the u the the user uh, experience there. You know, like they have to remember to copy a code, and you have to create that code for every single uh, influencer out there. When really the influencer could create their own promotion, and it could get paid that way. And all the um, all the platform would have to do is fund that promotion, fund that smart contract. It's just as simple as sending somebody some Yada coins. Super easy. And for the fact that Yada coin is mineable using ordinary computer hardware. So you can get, uh, you know, essentially you can get coins from, from nothing just by using ordinary uh, CPU. And it's like, that makes it accessible to everybody. You know, you, you don't even need US dollars to start. You can literally promote something on even a small scale, you could uh, fund a smart contract for promotion with one Yada coin and say, okay, well, you know, for every single uh, person that joins a platform, you get 0 0.0001 Yada coin. You know, you could uh, break it down any way you want uh, for, you know, how it gets paid out to every single user that joins a platform. And I think this is like, it's, it's great because it's not just going to promote the use of Yada coin, but it's also going to promote the use of uh, any underdog out there. It's going to take uh, anybody that is, is struggling to get a user base, anybody that, that's excited about growing their user base, building a brand, building their company, growing their company, whatever, it's going to, t it's going to allow them uh, to have an option to incentivize that growth, rather than just going out there and saying, "Hey, here's my product. Here's what. Here's all the benefits," and you know, just like uh, hitting the ground running and, and like put, putting things out on Twitter, putting things out on Reddit, and you know, putting out all these ads and stuff like that. You can actually incentivize people to join by giving them the ability to get Yada coins, which of course they can turn around and you know, sell on an exchange or, you know, hold on to them, whatever they want to do. You know, uh, the, the, the economics of it, they all add up. You know, you can, you can follow the money straight through the, the whole process and everybody benefits. You're going to be exchanging value, you know, anywhere from the promoter, the person who joins, uh, to uh, the person who is getting the memberships. Like, everybody wins. In this whole scenario so where are the funds held the funds are essentially held in like a, like what is an escrow but is like but will be in the uh, smart contract itself so you'll have the smart contract let's say so the smart contract is the promotion so the, the they're synonymous so the smart contract is the promotion and you're essentially funding the promotion so I'm saying, uh, so I want to promote a concert. So I'm gonna send the promotion for that concert, I'm gonna send it 100,000 Yada coins, right? And then from there, uh, I'm going to say, okay, I'm gonna go uh, uh, invite all of my, my fan base to join this platform. And the, the actual concert, is going to pay me a certain amount out of that promotion for every user that is my user that uh, pays for a ticket for that concert, right? So when a person pays for a ticket for that concert, they're going to report back on the blockchain 
that a relationship was created with that user and that concert. So then that relationship is going to hit the blockchain and then that, that contract is going to detect that relationship and pay out to that promoter. Does that make sense? Right. I think it's a really good system. Oh, and so uh, the other thing is discounts, right? So you can also use that as like a promo code. Okay, so if you come from a certain promotion as a user and you buy tickets for like a concert or you're signing up for a new service, a website or whatever, let's say you go to Center Identity. I'm thinking about using this for Center Identity, you know? If uh, I'm going to offer, I will actually use this for Center Identity. I'm going to offer uh, a certain amount of payout for uh, a lead or a paying customer or something like that. And I will report back uh, the newly created relationship uh, with Center Identity and that promoter's user. And I will uh, pay that promoter a certain amount per user that I get. Uh, from that promoter and I will even offer a discount uh, if they come through that uh, promoter so it's it works just like a promo code you know like if a, if a social media influencer says you know you can go to my platform or you can you can go to our, our sponsor and use this promo code you can get 10% off we can do that too we can uh, we can we're going to build that into the smart contract and uh, and offer that uh, that same you know mechanics of giving a discount based on the promotion that you're offered. Uh, another question: Do you plan on building bridges between more famous networks like Solana? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, the, I don't know exactly how we'll execute that one yet. I haven't thought about the design or implementation, uh, but I'd be happy to definitely consider it and work on it for sure. Um, you know, anybody that, that wants to uh, promote something like that or has like a great use case for it, um, you know, I'd be definitely open to hearing about anything like that. I would love to, uh, to bridge, uh, bridge the gaps between different projects because I think that ultimately when we, uh, like the biggest uh, growth that I think the, my project has experienced is whenever I integrate with another project like that it just um it builds a lot of energy and, and makes people i don't know like more hopeful and i think that uh, it just really energizes people to know that you know you're you're combining this value that two projects have uh built by themselves and it just becomes even more powerful when two you know powerful systems uh, find a way to work together to generate even more value because I think that you know all at the end of the day We want to become more powerful, you know everybody in this community. We want to build upon the power that um, that we all bring to the table and I think we all know that we're not going to win just by ourselves, you know that we all bring something different to the table and uh, right now it's, it's like we're all trying to build our own thing and be really great at what we do, but then I think the next generation is going to be figuring out how we can integrate with each other and become like this superpower that is basically just unstoppable because we're taking all of our strengths and combining them into, you know, this cohesive solution that, you know, <clears throat> will just create this like user experience that's absolutely unbeatable. So that I think is super important, um, it, cooperating with other projects for sure. I think it's all about access as well. When you connect to a more mainstream project, uh, people with limited knowledge about crypto can connect with you. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> you know, right now we're just like figuring out how we can integrate with XM Rig. Uh, that's a, a big issue for us. And, um, you know, I've been working a little bit on, on getting the code merged with them. And I think that if we do end up getting merged uh, with that project, I think it'll be really huge. You know, not just for them, but I think uh, also for us. 
because uh, they'll see that you know we're we're willing to work with another project. You know, we fork to another algorithm. We have faith in the work that other people are doing, and we're willing to you know promote. Uh, random X as a uh, a great solution for bringing uh, cryptocurrency uh, to people who don't have a ton of mining rigs and don't have this huge setup and all this stuff where we're trying to bring uh, accessibility to our cryptocurrency and um, when we integrate other people's technology like that we're promoting their project as well. And so when we, you know, uh, go to get merged with their project, then that's just going to help us as well. So I think that, um, you know, it's a really great thing when, you know, we can all come together and uh, promote each other. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, we're, we're by no means trying to just be like maximalist on Yadacoin. We do uh, our thing really well, you know. We're not trying to be Ethereum. We're not trying to be uh, Yada. Or, we're not trying. To, we're not trying. We're not trying to be ourselves. No, we're not trying to be Bitcoin. We're not trying to be Ethereum. We're not trying to be Solana. We're not trying to be uh, Tronix or anything like that. And that's really another reason why I'm not at this point trying to make our own language like. Um, solidity or something like that or make it so that you can use custom python code where i would have to like limit you know all these different features and functions of python so that you know wouldn't expose any sort of vulnerabilities or anything like that it's like the the main idea of yadacoin is to create an ecosystem of users that can go from one platform to the other very easily so that I think is really cool in and of itself, but you can take that even a step further. You can take it even a step further and say, well, let's let's create a financial incentive for that. You know, let's let's let let people create promotions so that they can uh, even get tokens for promoting people to join other platforms to try out other services, things like that, because. You know, technology is always changing, and you know, I think everybody understands that it can. It takes a little bit of a emotional and time and effort investment to try out a new platform. So, there should be some kind of win for you to uh, to up and go to another platform. Not just because it's easy to do, which Yadacoin makes it makes it sing, uh, seamless to do because your your relationships and everything are already on the chain. But not only that, but you should be able to promote it and get Yada coins from doing that. And uh, it just makes it not only easy to do, but beneficial to do. So people are going to be uh, exploring and expanding their uh, application uh, repertoire and they will their, their whole menu of options will just continue to expand as they take part in different promotions and uh, and uh, you know take advantage of the different um, opportunities that promoters are creating and I think it's a very exciting uh, ecosystem all right I think that um, I think we're pr pretty much like that's really kind of like the announcement I wanted to make. It's just basically like smart contracts, creating an ecosystem with uh, the financial incentives, and that's really like what's coming. And I think it's going to be very exciting. So uh, go ahead and hit. Project. I'd love to help. I'd love to uh, understand. You know what your use case is. And yeah, uh, be looking out for that. And cheers, everybody. Thanks for dropping in.